what's going on guys uh, let's do this problem right here the question is asking uh, determine the inverse of the following matrix by using the cofactor method so they have given the uh, matrix right here is 1 3 5 2 so first of all before we approach the question we have to know what is the equation for the uh, equation to find the inverse matrix in the cofactor method right so first of all the equation is a inverse is equal to I mean, so a inverse is equal to 1 over determinant a determinant a times cofactor a transpose so this is the general formula to find the inverse using cofactor method so in this case uh, we have this matrix right here so first of all let's find the determinant so determinant a is going to be basically ad minus bc in this case therefore ad is going to be 1 times 2 is going to be 2 minus bc is 5 times 3 is going to be minus 15 uh, 5 times uh, 3 is 15 so ad minus bc so it's going to be minus 15 which is equal to minus 30 so this is our determinant a so let's find the cofactor a right now so to find the cofactor a what i have to do is I have to, I have to take minus 1 to the power and i have to add the column and the row so this is first row first column so if i take the first row first column it's going to be 1 plus 1 and uh, if I take the first row first column, what's going to happen is all the vertical components, all, all the vertical component of this first row and uh, this one and all the horizontal components, this one is going to be eliminated. So when you eliminate all of them, what's the, what is remaining? What's, that's going to be the value of the 1 1 cofactor. So in this case, if we eliminate these two, this uh, vertical and horizontal, the 2 is left. So therefore, 2 is going to be the, my value right here. And if I take for the take it for the first row second column, it's going to be one plus two. And if I take the first first row second column, I will I have to eliminate this one. This one uh, five is remaining, so five is here. And if I, I take the second row first column, it's going to be two plus one. And this one be if I eliminate these two, it's going to be re remaining is three. And if I take the second row second column, I have to eliminate this and this, and one is remaining. And in this case, we have to remember that when, whenever we have a negative value with the even number, that's going to be positive. If we have a negative value with the odd number, that's going to be negative. So in this case, we have an even number. 1 plus 1 is going to be 2. Therefore, this is going to be remain positive. This is going to remain positive. And this is 1 plus 2 odd number. Therefore, this is going to be negative, negative 5. And this is going to be odd number. 2 plus 1 is 3. So it's odd number and minus therefore it's going to be negative so it's going to be minus 3 and this is an even number therefore this is going to be positive and this is 1 now we have to arrange this in the matrix now 1 plus 1 is 2 so one uh, first row first column is 2 so I have to put it in the exact first row first column and first row second column is minus 5 so I have to put it in the first row second column minus 5 and second row first column is minus 3 I have to put it here and second row second column is 1 so it's going to be here now this is cofactor A so this is equal to cofactor A, but we need cofactor A transpose. So to find this transpose, what we have to do is we have to, we have to simply swap the first row with first column, second row with second column. So in this case, first row is going to be my first column, become my first column. So it's going to be cofactor A transpose is equal to first row is going to be my first column. So it's going to be two minus five in the first column, and the second column is my second row is going to be my second column. So it's going to be minus three. One. Now I have go, I have got the cofactor A transpose. I have got the determinant of A. Now I can simply substitute these values in the equation and find the A inverse. Therefore, A inverse is going to be equal to one over minus thirteen times these values two minus three minus five one. And if you multiply this value by this value, you will get the A inverse. That's going to be this is going to be minus two over thirteen. And the second one is going to be 3 over 30. The third one is going to be 5 over 30. And the last one is going to be minus 1 over 30. And this is the final answer for this question. I hope you guys like this video. See you next time.